hello guys so welcome back to switch technologies so in this video let's understand how to perform the performance testing with z meter okay so in the z meter already we discussed how to perform uh, some api testing with postman right in previous uh, uh, video like uh, we have used this is the uri here to uh, know the api testing here we validated the how the status code is getting and what are the headers we are getting okay same like so here also we did here with postman so the same uri is here also we can just do take to perform the performance testing also okay so simple so here you do have very first time test plan so test plan means here it's like a uh, prototype for your uh, performance testing whatever the um, uris and whatever the models uh, with the different apis you want to test so those you have to do take okay so test plan is like a uh, like a sample or a prototype or like a blueprint of your uh, performance test so here it contains uh, all the elements and configurations needed to execute your test scenarios okay and uh, you can define the things like uh, here in this again you do have the thread groups okay so test plan means here you are going to give the name of your performance testing like uh, a different uh, employees uh, testing or a login model okay this is the way you can give the uh, test plan so here in this you do have the threads so you have to just what you have to do just select the thread plan and add here the threads so what exactly the threads means here you have to threads so what exactly the thread means so thread is like a uh, model in this uh, it's like a group of virtual users in this you have to do uh, performance testing means you have to do test the load testing spike testing and uh, stress testing by applying the maximum load behind the maximum load you have to do apply the load on that particular api so to apply the load with the number of users here you have to do pass the number of users count here so number of threads like how many number of users you want to pass if you want to pass 10 users you can do pass 10 users if you want to pass uh, 100 users you can do pass that 100 users here for once 100 users and in the same way how many times it needs to be done so number of with the 100 users how many time it needs to be executed okay and that count you have to execute if you want to execute this for two times with 100 users here you can use 100 users and here it needs to be repeat with the two numbers means almost 200 times this will be executed okay and between one user to another user here 100 users virtual users are 100 users so with 100 users how many the what is the time gap between one user request to another user request here the ramp up period is the gap between one request to another request you can use one second two seconds or the zero seconds also okay minimum one second you can mention okay this is the way we can create the thread group here what the th thread group is uh, means here we are going to give the number of times and the number of users and the gap between the one request to another request so this you have to mention in the thread group so this is the how many times you need to be executed mentioned but what exactly is going to be executed that you have to do add here in a sampler okay sampler or listener you can uh, sampler first you have to take sampler means so here you are you are going to give the request what exactly the request so how what we actually see in the with the postman the same you can also mention here so here the server or ip is here in the pass the http request get right here also we use it this for the get request only so the same thing you can mention here in the get request so this is your request okay so here you have to do pass the request so this is the http request if you want to change the name so users okay so users uh, um, users test okay this is the way you can do pass the request so once you do add the uh, like a sampler later to observe the results for this 
okay to add the to observe the results for this uh, sampler you have to do add the listeners okay so listeners in the view results okay view results in a tree or view results uh, in a you are having summary report you are having if you want to observe the results in another kind like a uh, aggregate report okay or else a graph result okay graph results you can see different listeners okay so once everything is uh, done you can just uh, click save okay and later what you have to do here is this is the button will run the your thread okay so simply you can execute so here uh, these uh, results also if you are if you are having number of or um, request http request employees request users api different apis you are having means if you want to make them for every a uh, request if you want all the repairs you can add them before also whenever you run this or else if you run this just to select this uh, uh, uri okay sorry select this group thread group this is the thread group okay and for this thread group if you do run all the request of this particular uh, thread will run okay and if you want to see the results here you can see the results view results tree is like so get users api is running successfully every time the get users is running successfully but http is running only once successfully and uh, other is and uh, get employees is also getting failed because what the why these are getting failed means for this request for http request whatever you used here okay this is the URI, you this is the api so for this the mention time so in the thread group the time you mentioned is ramp up time is one second so within the one second it is not going to identify or it is not going to get the output for that particular api but coming to this get users api so here also the thread group time the thread group is common thus all the requests you want to run with the same threads number of users and with different uh, 10 into 20 20 sorry 10 into 2 20 requests you are going to get so if you observe here almost every request is going to execute 20 times if you count manually you will get 20 results okay here get users api is only getting successfully okay that load testing is getting passed for the get users if you want to observe the other, other results summary report see here error percentage is for get user api is zero error percentage okay but for get employees no nothing is getting passed here even single is also not executed so that's why 100 percent error percentage you got but http request executed at least once yes or no so if you view results here http is executed once okay so that's why here the summary report is 96.67 percentage okay but get you get employee users this is not going to give any output so that's why here the result is the summary report if you observe 100 percent error you got okay so here the samples are it's uh, executed 60 and average these many and maximum time and uh, std develop uh, standard development so their error percentage throughput and received uh, the memory you it is received so these are the different things you can do analyze here okay so this is the way the thread group is going to execute and uh, you can see the output and uh, if it is the zero percentage error at that time you can do or uh, use that api successfully if it is the error percentage is very much like this hundred percentage 96 percentage you are unable to use this or you are unable to process this as a load test is failed okay this is the way we can perform the performance testing easily with the j meter so here yeah, these are the listeners will help to observe the results and these are the samplers will help you to add the different http request that may be get or that may be post or put or head whatever we seen in the api in the same way you do have here also okay so thank you this is about the j meter uh, to perform the performance testing